right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm, it's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills, if I had the ability to mix the target as well as he does. When he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, you got a pretty good jab. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. This is the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Chico. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York, Iron. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to the floor. Strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground. They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the Jimmy takedown. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Hardy right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just missed with the left there. Able to check the high kick. Nice loop and punch. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. 
Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you put one knee to the body. Every time an opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great timing. Just misses there with the left. Got the single collar tie. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, collar tie. Good stick. What a tricky head kick. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Straight right, he misses. And they separate. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, nice knees to the body. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And they separate. Let's get him down. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. You can't take too many of those big elbows. All right, single collar tie now. Boy, tie block. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. A right, little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Sneaky head kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? <gasps> Liver kick. of his opponent. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, that's a good right hand. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. And they separate. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, nice shot. Big left hand lands upstairs. Both fighters throwing heat now. Beautiful kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. 
just missing on the uppercut there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Single collar tie now. Big call from Quartz Land. Now he gets back to range. Doubles up on the jab. Just out of range with that right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice. How about that shin? And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And he lands the knee to the body now. Great punch landed with so much power. And they separate. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Right hand punch from the clinch. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, big head kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Ooh, what a punch. Head kick. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Nice leg kick lands. Strong defense there to block the shot. Right hand punch from the clinch. Huge knee lands from the tight clinch. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Oh, that's a nice strike. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. that comes from him throwing that kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Great punch. Got the single collar tie. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Head kick. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out 
but it does excite me for the next round. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, misses with the jab. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, collar tie. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Real quick leg kick. Beautiful punch. Throws it. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got... Oh! Oh! He's out! It's over! It's over! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. The official decision Ladies is in here. The is Bruce Buffer. has called a stop to this contest at one minute, six seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Watch, right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.